Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. This is going to be a fun Monday morning coffee because I have a special guest with me. This is Coco. Coco is my mother and father-in-law's cute little Morky. Say hi, Coco. Coco is very sweet and we're dog sitting her for a while and we've had a lot of fun, you know, going for walks and giving her treats and it's just so fun to watch animals. I love living with animals. We have two cats in our home and they really like, they just follow their primal instincts. Like they know when to get adequate sunshine. They know to go lay in the sun. They know to get rest. You know, they know all this stuff and they, they're fun to be around too. They're very entertaining and they're adorable. And I just love being around animals. So Coco, thank you for joining us this morning. She's just going to hang out right here in front of me, probably while I talk. This morning, I want to talk a little bit about unexpected changes in your life. So what does this mean? Unexpected changes could be anything from, uh, you know, like losing a job or, you know, having a death in the family. That's also, that's obviously, you know, worst case scenario. Or getting seriously injured or, you know, your partner wanting to move on. You know, unexpected changes that are kind of out of the blue. I'm not sure I totally believe in out of the blue. But um This is just something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. There's been a lot of changes in my life. A few, one of them very recently as of yesterday. Um, But I see it as instead of, I used to look at unexpected changes like, you know, getting laid off from a job or, you know, a, a partner leaving or whatever the unexpected changes, see it as an opportunity of growth, a growth opportunity, and not just a growth opportunity, but so many more other opportunities, you know, such as, you know, finding a new job. Maybe you weren't really happy doing that job. Maybe deep down inside, you knew that job was not the right one for you. It wasn't a good fit for you. It doesn't mean there's anything against the job or the employer or anything. It's just simply, you're just not a good fit. It's the same thing with partners, you know, dating. You know, I dated, you know, throughout my 20s and it was hard. You know, I had a, I struggled a lot, you know, when someone broke up with me or when I knew I needed to break up with someone. It just, it's not easy and it's uncomfortable to do it. Excuse me. So I just, with these unexpected changes, some of them are, you know, in my life recently, it's, it, these are intentional, you know, maybe these changes happen sooner than we had anticipated or than we had planned, but some of them are, you know, intentional and And that's cool. That's great. That's awesome. It's like, okay, I'm making this big life change and I'm moving forward. The unexpected ones that are out of your control, oftentimes I feel like those are a little bit more challenging to navigate because at least with the ones that you are making the choice, you are making the changes. It's a little like, okay, I made this change. Like this was my choice. But the ones that are out of your control, like Uh, getting laid off from a job or someone breaking up with you, you know, something like that. It's kind of like, whoa, it's really hard not to take things personally, especially sensitive people like myself, the people pleasers out there. If that's you, yes, this is me too. It's really, we could take things really personally. And so oftentimes we have a hard time handling it. 
So what if you switched your mindset and just looked at the opportunities? Like, oh my gosh, this is so great. I have this great opportunity to explore, you know, new jobs, new lines of work. Maybe I want to go out on my own. Maybe I just, there's this other company I've been interested in working for, you know, and I think it's especially important, you know, with partners because it's really important to find the right partner, especially if you're serious about it and you want to eventually get married and have a family, it's really important to make sure you find a partner, you choose a partner that has the same values as you. And it's the same thing as a job, you know, or whatever line of work. If you're an entrepreneur, you know, choose a line of work that is, you know, aligns with your value system. So bottom line is embrace these unexpected changes. Yes, they're uncomfortable. Yes, they're scary. Yes, you're really going into the unknown, but embrace them. I saw a quote last night on um, Facebook that said this um, uh, gr Facebook group I'm a part of for my personal coaching is... Um, like my coaching that I'm, the group that I'm involved in. Um, it said, focus, instead of focusing your energy on worrying, focus your energy on believing. And it really stood out to me, especially last night. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is so true. So true. So I encourage you to do that. Focus on believing rather than worrying. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a really great Monday. And uh, remember, Wellness Abundance is live. It's ready for you to invest in. If you're ready to make changes, go to, go to the website, honeybee.kitchen, coachings under the coaching services tab. It's been updated and it's just, I'm really excited about this. So go check it out. See if it's a good fit for you. It's, it may not be for you and that's okay. But just know it's out there and reach out to me with any questions you have. If you want to pop on a discovery call with me, go ahead. Email me and we'll set it up or just click on one of the links in, on my website and we'll get that set up for you. Okay, guys, enjoy your Monday again, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.